Hey, hey, hey! That's enough of Thor waving. This is my vlog, not Thor's. But wouldn't that be a good idea? Hey, I'm Thor. I like to smash things with my hammer. I'm also incredibly sexy, blah, blah, blah. So, it is time for Kook's questions, round number one. Um, let's just go straight in here and get started. I want to make this a regular thing, by the way, hence the whole number one thing. Um, I'm not going to include all the questions that I got in this one, because I did get quite a lot. Um, keep sending them in, though, please, because some, <laughs> some of them are brilliant. But um, just a few to start off with this time. Radman7 asks, are your boobs real? Well... Yes, Radman, yes they are. And do you know what? If I was to have any surgery on them, it would be a breast reduction. Because after having having larger boobs anyway, before I had my son, um, having my son and then I gained so much weight after Dylan was born. Her gravity ain't been so kind. So um, yeah, they, they are real. Um, I don't think they're as great as they look when they're clothed but yeah yeah they're real um yucky roller asks how much weight have i lost in total um from my heaviest weight i have lost uh, just under six and a half stone um from my lowest weight i have gained a bit of weight since because of uh, steroids and various medications and things like that but um i am starting to go down again so I don't I don't want to be skinny at all. I just want to be fit and muscly. I want my muscles back. And um yeah, that's how much weight I've lost. If I can do it, anyone can. Uh, next question. Brown cow <laughs> asks what car do I have? And seeing as I've just only started learning to drive, um bit of a difficult one to answer, but I will tell you which car I would like. Um, you know, when I win the lottery next week and all that sort of shit. Um, I really, really, really want a Toyota Hilux. Uh, double cab, obviously. Um, in black with lots of chrome and really, really, really big wheels. So yeah, I like I like big cars. Um, also with my um with my MS, I have I'm gonna have to have quite a tall car because it's easier for me to step in and step down from a car than it is to sit in and then pull myself out and all that shit it's it's really hard work it sounds ridiculous unless you're um unless you're disabled yourself or you've um, had an injury where you, you struggle to get out of a car you'll know exactly what i mean but um yeah cars i'm gonna pass my test soon and it's gonna be so great um uh ghetto 67 asks do i make money from my vlogs on my blog nope I don't make a fucking penny. I, um, last year and the year before that, I did a lot of uh, reviews for companies. PRs would contact me, send me stuff, and I'd give them reviews, test things out for them, etc., etc. But since getting sick, I've had to put all that, like, on the side. Um, because I just haven't had, I haven't had time. Um, but I, I want to start that back up again, though. That, that was a lot of fun. And um, the stuff that they sent me, though, it wasn't really any, um, particular value. You know, food samples, book samples, um, random things like that. So yeah, but I want I want to start that back up again because that was fun and it gave me something to do, something productive. But um, in terms of my vlogs and like making money off of YouTube, you have to get hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of views um, before you make a penny from YouTube. I have, um, I've been invited to be a partner, but I just, I don't get enough views to even warrant it, and I hate having adverts at the start of YouTube videos, and it really drives me fucking insane, but, um, yeah, so, no, I don't make a penny, I don't make a penny outside of the internet, either, like, in the real world, because I can't find a job, and it sucks, because there's no employment here, full stop, anyway, it's shit, um, even for a fit and healthy person. Uh, combine that with the fact that I have to have certain hours because of Dylan and um, someone that's willing to employ me with my MS is <laughs> it's hard. Um, I can't even begin to express how skint I am. My card declines like at least twice a week at the moment. Um, if it only declines once in a week, I'm having a very good week. So no, I do not make any money 
from my fucking blogs and vlogs. Uh, Mac has back asks, where do I live? <laughs> well, that's easy. The fucking moon. Uh, 1740 asks, can we send you things in the mail? Yes, yes you can. Send me shit. Send me really random shit. I don't care what it is. Um, if you want to send me stuff to review, to promote, and stuff like that through like my vlogs, or I want to start my blog up back again, you know, feel free, by all means. Um, if you want to send me just random stuff, you know, things that make me laugh, things that you might think I need, you know, random stuff, then contact me. I'm not going to give out my address on a YouTube video. But um, if you contact me from my YouTube channel, private message me, and then we can work something else. But um, I love, love, love getting presents. So yes, by all means, send me shit. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, Hello Fever three asks the most amazing question yet. Uh, what is my favourite Metal Gear? <laughs> Where do I start? Uh, well. Metal Gear Solid on the PlayStation 1 will always have a massive place in my heart because it was not only the most groundbreaking game of its time, but well, still groundbreaking um, in terms of like the gameplay and the tactical stealth action and things like that, but um, it was it was the first Metal Gear that I played when it came out and um, it, it really did change my life and <laughs> people, people that know me will know that I'm not joking when I say that. It made... Um, it made games of manhunt a hell of a lot more fun because I <laughs> I learnt so much from that game. Um, yeah, so that will always have a massive place in my heart. But um, other than that, I'd say Metal Gear Snake Eater was <laughs> that's just so funny. Um, I love it because not only is it so funny, but it is one of those games where you can you can literally you can just pick it up and put it down as and when it's not one of those games that you have to play for hours and hours and hours and hours you can just pick it up fuck around and then put it down <laughs> but um yeah it's so so funny and it also features one of my favorite boss battles of all time in fact in, yeah my favorite my number one boss battle of all time um where that ran <laughs> really 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 big spoiler coming up so if you haven't played it and you don't want to know the spoiler at the end of the game turn this off now but um, yeah, at the end of Snake Eater, you have to defeat um, the boss, um, Snake's mentor. And throughout the game, you are told the story of the relationship between him and the boss. And by the time you get to that point in the game where you have to fight her, it's it's so, so emotional. And it's <sighs> the gameplay of that entire battle is beautiful visually it is stunning and it's epic and the music and um, it was just so gripping and emotional and then when it, you, you finally defeat her and then you notice you're crying <laughs> and I know for a fact that it's not just the girls that cried at that bit I know some guys that cried at that bit um, I can't remember if my brother was one of them but I know for a fact that my brother cried um, well so he told me at the time uh, um, another really really sad bit in the Metal Gear series um, at the end of Metal Gear 4 when um, <laughs> Big Boss meets Snake at the graveyard and tells him the story of um, how Snake came about and just that bit is just so emotional and I was crying my eyes out all the way through it um, yeah so that's my favourite Metal Gear uh, 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 next question. Um, Euphorica asks, what's just your last... Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, God. I wrote all these questions down and I've lost them all. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, I just burped really loudly. I hope you didn't hear that. Uh, uh... 126 Me Free Zone asks, am I single? Really? <laughs> Are you really asking me that question? Um, let me let me just go and check if the sky's still blue, yeah? Yeah, it's still blue. And there were no pigs flying. <laughs> um, I am very, very single. Very. Uh, Euphorica asks, what does your last text message you received say? And uh, it is, let me have a look because I've got loads that I haven't read. Um, the latest one, I can't really repeat that, 
But yeah, so thus ends this first round of uh, Kook's questions. Please keep sending me more because uh, they're really, really funny, some of them. And lots of other questions, like the Metal Gear one, that was great. That was really fun to answer. So yeah, I'm going to try and keep these as short as possible, hence why I've only done a few questions now, not do a few questions another time. But um, yeah, I hope you are all enjoying the fucking sun that we're having. Uh, I know I am. I'm basking like a lizard every day and it's so much fun because um, I've got fuck all else to do. But anyway, I shall see you guys soon with Kook's questions number two.